Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. If this is your first time, I welcome you. I hope this message will resonate with you and you will subscribe, be a part of the tribe. It will be great to have you. Thank you in advance. And if you're a returning soul triver, new soul triver, thank you so very much uh, for your support it is greatly appreciated and for those of you who have donated to the channel as well i thank you so very much please give the videos a like please leave a comment if you felt led to do so it is greatly appreciated for the support and the growth of the channel thank you so very much so let's see what's in store for you what's in wow truth mm. confession clarity reveal secrets so again I'm seeing here what's in the darkness will come to light this is again this is the sword you know this looks like the queen of sword again it's a lot of things are revealed a lot of you Again, this is just the time when the mask is coming off, you know, for the Queen of Sword. I mean, look at her. She's like, I'm not even trying to hear it. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm not even trying. It's like, I know the truth. You cannot fool me. I've been there, done that. You know, this is you knowing the truth and the truth set you free. This is you not tolerating any nonsense you're not taking any foolishness from anybody for the queen of swords you know i look at you know this person as someone who has gone through a lot of things a lot of trials tribulations a lot of tests in life um broken trust relationships as well and are forced to learn the truth you know, sometimes it can come out harsh, but it's the truth. So maybe for someone, you're also a truth speaker as well. You know, you're not pretending it up. It's like when it comes to the Bible, it's like faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy is deceitful. So, of course, it's like the sword, that's the truth. That's the truth. It, it is meant to pierce deeply, to make people uncomfortable. And so, for a lot of you, you are, you are not holding back. You're just being honest with yourself and everybody around you. You're not, you know, going to make anything prettier than what it is. I mean, our eyes are closed. It's like, you know, I am blind to the nonsense. It's like I don't even have to see you. I can just smell you from a mile away. And I know you're coming with some foolishness. You see how long this sword is? That means you don't even have to come close. So this is a lot of you... Again, secrets are revealed. The light is shed on a lot of things. You know, people are confessing. Because all this time, you know the truth. People, people probably try to make it seem as if you were making things up. You know, they were fighting with you. You know, when you, again, the Queen of Swords could have been in toxic relationships fighting, codependency. So this person has matured and developed over time to know the truth. Also, who had to be honest with his or her, you know, him or herself. Somebody who has been ghosted, rejected, ignored, dealt with a lot of snakes, as I said before deception shady people people who came in to tempt came in with a lot of empty promises wolves in sheep clothing these were enemies that could have left you stressed 
anxious, restless. This reminds me of like the ninth, nine of sword, you know, with a lot of regrets. And so now you know the truth is like nobody can take it away from you. You're a truth speaker. Wow. Divine timing. Yeah, so for, for a lot of you, again, this is the perfect time. Divine timing, that you have been waiting. You've been waiting on God to bring something to pass. Whatever this is that you have been waiting for, it is coming to pass. Um, what else do you have yeah healing wounds improving mending progress so a lot of you some of you you're healing from some past traumas things that mm, again when I look at the sword it cuts so things happen to you where you had to heal. You know, again, like the, the Ten of Swords. A lot of you are healing right now. You're, you're, you're going through the process and you're waiting on divine timing. Some of you have already gone through this and now you know everything. Everything is revealed to you. The truth is revealed to you now. divine timing yeah the snake came back out so you have been bitten you have been bitten and now you're healing wow just a lot of third party interference competition cheating uh, mistresses so a lot of you you're 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 healing from a lot of past hurts you had to wait on divine timing. Wow, look at this. What does not kill you make you stronger. That's the truth, isn't it? What does not kill you make you stronger. At the back of the deck, karmic masculine. So you could have been dealing with a karmic masculine or feminine who left you again we saw that card that toxic relationship that you were dealing with again the snake people who were deceptive the third parties you were probably hanging out with people who lied to you they broke your heart and now you were left to pick up the pieces because on this card it's also mending it's mending wow gratitude so a lot of you you're just thankful that you've made it it's like god showed up on time in time for you divine timing this is the perfect timing god showed up for you and a lot of you you are just really really grateful for god this showed me that Everything, everybody failed you, but God, but God, divine timing, but God, yeah. Healing from betrayals. Wow. A lot of energy vampires. Yeah, these were the deceptor cons, the snakes that you dealt with. They were just in your life to steal your light. To drain your energy. And again, remember, energy is everything. Your time, your money, your body. Even you spending, giving people, you would think, attention. That's your time. And so you were hurt. You were stung. Something that forced you to go into healing into introspect like the hermit so that you could improve yourself
to work on yourself, to make progress. It's like you are sent in a place where, again, like on the battlefield, you had to dress your own wounds. You have battle scars. And God showed up for you. And this is why now you're standing in your truth. It's like, don't play with me. I know the truth. I know now. I have learned from my lesson. I mean, it's like when you know what you know what you know, nobody can turn you around. Nobody. Because see, what does not kill you make you stronger. And the things you went through were meant to unalive you. It was meant to defeat you. It was meant to take you out. Again, the snake. Just think about it. The venom. Healing. It's like you had to go into the hospital. Wow. And it's like Dr. God showed up for you. And, and today you, you're, you can only give thanks to God because you have gone through the betrayals. So it's like when you look at your scars, the scars remind you of the things that you went through. And it's like from now on, you've, you have so much experience that you are able to spot an energy vampire a million miles away. I mean, like I said, look at the length of that sword I showed you. Her eyes are closed. It's like the, 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 it should be a crown on her head. It looks more like a thorn. This is telling me this is somebody who has been through it. Wow. And so now you are crushing. You are crushing the enemies. You are crushing the enemies, the snakes who came in to take you out. We saw the card over and over about toxic relationship. So again, it's like you're not enabling, you're not harboring anybody. It's like come correct or do not come at all. I am through. I am done with the foolishness. I'm done with the nonsense. So we saw, yeah, I think I showed you, yeah, the fighting Anybody who is codependent, misunderstanding, anybody who is going to trigger you to send you back in the past, you're not enabling any of those connections anymore because you have dealt with, you have dealt with a lot of toxic, it says family members and look, toxic relationships, relationships come it could be in the workplace, it could be romantic, it could be platonic, and it could be business. But for whatever it's worth, it's like the gamble card is here. You took a chance, a risk, a leap of faith. You strategize. For, for a lot of you, you run away from some situations in your life. It's like by night you left some of these connections and these people you thought they were your friends, they were your acquaintance, they were people you trusted, who you thought would have been there to support you. Now a lot of these people, they're watching you, they're spying on you. Yeah, you change, change. You know you had to do something different if you want something different. So a lot of these people, again, family, family, break up. Yeah. And some of these people are going to want to come back saying it's not over. We have unfinished business. Spirit says, file the paperwork. File the paperwork. They're going to want to say they have romantic feelings for you and they want a hookup. No, not true. These people still are involved in third parties and addicted. Again, this could be an ex-lover. Spirit says, 
storm warning look for the signs and synchronicities for a lot of you yes you are alone but you're not lonely so no need to be desperate to make the same dumb mistakes again so again, a lot of you, you have been through a lot of toxic relationships. People broke your heart. And again, this, like I said, this doesn't have to mean romantic. This could be your families, platonic, your friends. They let you down. They betrayed you. Behind your back, they smile in your face, but behind your back, they were hissing. They were hissing. They betrayed you. A lot of you, spirit wants you to know you're beautiful and you're handsome, guys. So for a lot of you, like I said, the betrayals, the heartbreaks, those are your scars. But see, in fact, they are your beauty marks. They are your beauty marks. Because for what these people did not appreciate about you, other people are going to come into your life. Who will love? Who will kiss those scars? That broken heart. You're going to meet people who are going to love you. The parts of you that people try to say that you're dumb, you're ugly, you're stupid. These people, they were energy vampires, remember? They are snakes. So in order for a lot of them to get you down, they had to break you. And this is where a lot of you had to learn to build back your self-esteem and to know who you're worth. Your worth. And God showed up on time for you. And so this is why you're so grateful today. Those are beauty marks. Your scars. Those are your scars, your beauty mark. And so today you are in beast mode. You are hustling, you're working. I'm telling you, you've taken your power back. You are the queen of swords. I mean, you are the beast. It's like, don't play with me. I don't even want to hear it. Again, come correct or don't come at all. You are the sun. You are the sun. You are glowing. Again, you are healed. Some of you, you are healing. And just like the sun coming up, so are your rays bursting out. You're seeing flickers of hope. This is God showing up. Again, this is the God in you. Divine timing. This is what's coming into your life. Tick, tick, tick. Burst by burst. God is just... Again, all of that glow, it radiates. This is God doing a work inside of you to restore you. To restore you back to the person who you're supposed to be. And so for a lot of you, after you've gone through all of this, you're going to come into your divine, your kingdom spouse, your kingdom partner. Are you going to be meeting your soul tribe, your posse, the real deal, genuine people, no more snakes. You're done with that. You're healed or you're healing right now. Yeah, for a lot of you, and we saw that, the, we, we have here, you've dealt with toxic family members. For some of these people who betrayed you, Family, see, friend or family interfered in your relationships. Yeah, they wanted to break you. They wanted to break you down. You had to work on yourself. You had to be patient with yourself too. That you're a work in progress. It's like tick, tick, tick. It's like you are co-creating with the divine in your healing process, your healing journey, and you're bossing up. Again, you're in beast mode. It's like you're pouring back into yourself. You stop giving to people. Again, 
these energy vampires, they were taking from you energy in different ways. And you defeated them. You defeated the enemies. Amen. Spiritual warfare. This is why God showed up. Because the wrestle is not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. So these third parties, these toxic relationships, our families and friends, these people were allowing the enemy to work in and through them to destroy you. And this is why God showed up on time. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. You did some return to sender or you need to do this. Yeah. That helped with your healing as well. And for a lot of you, these people, the snakes, they were thieves in your midst. Yeah. This is why, again, like your money, your time, your energy, your body, you're bossing up. Everything the enemy stole from you, it's returned to you. You're blessed. You are blessed and highly favored. And they tried to block you, right? Yeah. You did not give up. And Spirit is saying, do not give up. Do not give up. This is spiritual warfare. We saw that return to sender. Everything the enemy is sending to you, Spirit wants you to open your mouth return to sender these people like i showed you they want to spin the block they want to come back to say we have unfinished business spirit says the devil is a lie the devil is a lie that's a lie from the pit of hell it is over return to sender yeah because you're a black sheep you're a black sheep this is why you know, like a moth to a flame. Sometimes when you don't know who you are, you attract any and everything. And so these people, again, you're an empath. You're kind and they saw an opportunity. And this is what turned you into this beast mode. Now you know the truth. You're sitting on your chair. You're not moving. You're not moving. For nothing but the truth. So help me God. Right? So yeah. Now you know. You, you know people true colors. It's revealed. Yeah. I mean you're going to get everything back. Many streams of income. Again you have dealt with toxic partners. People who wanted to break your heart. And yes. They are going to be in spiritual jail. Chains are broken. And the lessons are a blessing. So you learn the, ble the lessons. And this is why you know the truth. You are the queen of sword. Like I said, it may come out where people may say, oh, that's harsh. But it's because you've been lied to for so long, for too long, that you have zero tolerance for the nonsense. Yeah, the lessons are a blessing. And you know, divine connection. Yeah, divine timing. God showed up for you. God showed up on time. Right on time for you, my friends. I love this for you. This is beautiful. Wow. One more. Wow, water. Isn't this beautiful? Water for the water sign. Yep. Yeah, divinity, divine timing. God showed up. God showed up. Again, a lot of divine. So divine masculine. Again, the veil. You're not tolerating any lies. It's like you, you have the key. You have the key. You know the truth. So anybody coming with mask, you're not, you're not tolerating that. You're a divine. You're in divine connection. Now you're focused. No, I mean, it's like bull's eye. Like I said, you don't, she didn't, she doesn't even have to open her eyes to know the truth. You can see, I mean, you are so much more aware. I mean, when someone is self-aware, 
when you can master yourself and you're aware, I mean, you're a force to reckon with. And of course, you are protected. You are very much protected. We saw that the divine showed up on time just for you. On time, right on time for you. One more card. Yeah, and your guides. Your ancestors and your guides. Again, closing out cycle. Wow, look guys, the truth. The truth. I love how God shows up and show out. The truth. Full moon, closing out one chapter. Moving into a new season of your life. Amen, amen. Yes, you're a healer. Because in order for you to heal others, you, you must have healed yourself. Yeah, so you are a healer. You're a light worker. Look, time. This is the time. This is your time as well. This is your time. Wow. I love this for you. I love this for us. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated for the support of the channel. Thank you so very much. I hope this is confirmation for someone and it inspire you to keep going to see how God showed up and show out in your life when you needed him the most but God. Thank you and be blessed.